All right. Hello, Quill. Thank you so much Hello. for agreeing to do this. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. I'm excited. Uh, would you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm Robert Quill and Camp. People call me Quill. Um, I'm sometimes a professor and sometimes uh, a theater scholar and sometimes a playwright and sometimes a designer. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of different things that all orbit around theater in one way or another. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I met Quill at Lewis and Clark. You were uh, teaching acting one. Uh, I also saw a production that you did uh, of Love and Information the following semester, uh, and that shaped my GPT-3 play that I wrote, so thanks for that. Uh, also, that Acting One class was a lot of fun. I have some good memories from that. Uh, and yeah, um, I reached out to you because like, I had thought about that, and uh, I'm having some folks from Love and Information also make plays for this. Uh, awesome. And yeah, what uh, talk about like your kind of history with like theater and like AI or uh, sort of like future concepts of love and information's kind of in that world of stuff. I don't really have an experience with that, but I accept that I have been interested in algorithms in one way or another, and I have created plays that use algorithms as a model. So. Uh, not actually using algorithms, but sort of reproducing algorithms in theater, I guess is what I would say. Right. Um, like very simply, for example, using the game of life, like computer game from the late 60s, <laughs> um, as a model for how actors move around on stage, right? So that, so that there, you get to have sort of emergent emergent patterns, for example, by just applying a few simple rules. So like that, the, the question of simple rules, I guess, um, and the kind of emerging patterns that you can get out of a, out of using a few simple rules at the same time has kind of been an interest of mine for a long time. So it that sort of overlaps and sort of doesn't, mm -hmm. <laughs> is what I would say. <laughs> Definitely. With um, uh, using a predictive text generation. Very cool, very cool. Uh, do you have ideas of what you think you're gonna try and do with this thing or? No, but I, I mean, but I wanted to be in the moment, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And I guess I'm interested in, I, I guess, I, I mean, I, I don't know what it's trained on or what the, it, it, you know, I don't know a lot enough about it. So you could totally, tell me a little totally. bit about that. Yeah, yeah. And I am interested in like play script form. So if it has, so I'm interested in like getting it to operate in, in a sort of traditional play script form is fun, sounds fun to me. That's, Definitely. that's I guess, you know. Yeah, no, and since it's trained on so much, I'll just start screen sharing right here. Uh, since it's trained on, it's almost all the public facing text available on the internet, like all of Wikipedia, right. all of like, it can write code, it can do all this nut stuff. Uh, so it's really good at recognizing like patterns and stuff. Uh, so if you like do like name colon, uh, it will pick up that you're trying to do something like that. It definitely has access to all of fanfiction.net and all of that. <laughs> Right, right, right. I mean, the question is, I guess I'm interested in, do you think it'll pick up on, like if we write something in a, in a I don't know if it's very, it's published very much. I mean, in, in manuscript play format, right? Which was like character name centered or like, it's not actually centered, but like tabbed over, you know what I mean? So it's, or if we, I guess what I'm interested in is that it seems like name colon is gonna be a lot of transcripts of conversations on the internet. I'm just thinking about like, is that, is there a way to kind of push it in towards dramatic texts versus interview, interview transcripts, that kind of thing? Totally. You know? Well, you can kind you can like set up stage directions. You can explain right. the scene that's happening and then do name colon. You can kind of like direct it and curate it that way. You can ask it to like write in the style of something or. Yeah, cool. Be like this character is the smartest character in the world and they would say, and it will. Right. Fill in, right, right, uh, right. A bunch of fun stuff like that. And then also over here, cool. uh, you can play with response length for how much uh, you want it to generate for you. Uh, right. Okay, great. Uh, the longer it goes, the more likely it's to tail off into something completely different. Uh, temperature, usually the default is 0.7, uh, is what they have it set at. Uh, closer to one, it'll be the least likely scenario, like least pr predictable scenarios it will choose more of. Uh, and closer to zero, it'll be just the more 
logical, uh, whatever. It also it. picks up on stuff in the text. So if there's stuff in the text, it'll probably go back to what's in there way more often than generate new different stuff. Got it. And a response length of two is two words. Just, uh, two tokens, which is about four character length. They haven't said it like four, six, I see. four for default, I think. Got it. Just messing with it yesterday. And then this is just so stuff doesn't show up as much. Uh, best of, it'll tell you how many different like things there were there. That's just like opening a whole new can of worms generally. Uh, okay. So response length and temperature, I feel like would be the main things to know. But yeah, what do you want to mess around with? Um, well, why don't we start with... Uh... Uh, let's just, why don't we get a list of, why don't we even create a list of characters? Why don't we type in dreamt as personae? Something started, I guess. Let's see. Do we start to see? Okay, so that's, I see. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you can edit this prompt and go back to in, like in and insert stuff here. Now, basically this is all the prompt. Does that make sense? This whole thing is right. So now it's going to keep using this, what it has, right, as part of Unless the Unless we, yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's delete everything after the president, I think. And then let's press enter and see what happens after that. Ah, uh, yeah. OK, OK. Let's take out, <laughs> I'm just, what, I, what I'm trying to get is, I want to get a list of, uh, just a list of characters. So I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to, I think let's it. take out the, after, again, let's take out of the United States, of course, we're not making this up. And then let's leave in two reporters for a struggling Manhattan newspaper called the New York Star and stop after Star. Yeah, yeah. And then let's keep going. Uh, I can put a period here so it maybe doesn't. Yeah, yeah, or a comma. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Does it rec Does it? Is there a way to recognize carriage returns, like an enter? You know what I mean? New paragraph. Uh, or is it not really? Does that not feed into it? That's yeah. I think I think the enter, but it, sometimes if you leave it on a blank space, it's like it's gonna make this go wild a little bit if you leave it blank or ending on a thing. Right. Um, you right. could ins you could like write the or give it like a article there so it recognizes that it's another thing in a list. Yeah, let's try the. Let's, let's, I mean, I think we can, what I want to say. Um, Let's take everything out after secretary. <laughs> we're just letting it give us nouns, basically, and see where and yeah, and see where we get. Uh, do you want to do another the or like article to give it another list? Because I feel like it might go secretary of or something like that again. Right. Yeah. Um, you can also mess with the temperature if you want. That's also. An I would or let's just put in a comma. Gotcha. See if that. Okay. Just really wants to give us these behind the scenes political conversations <laughs> very deeply. It's really. Um, uh, we could try the secretary okay. again with temperature turned up and see if it goes a different direction. Sure, sure. We could try that. up to like 0.9 or something. Cool, yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah, okay, I'm into this. <laughs> yeah, so let's leave all, let's leave all of this. Uh, who is it? Actress with feminist leanings for the rest of the place should we call the actress, although yeah, I mean, well, let's leave all that. That's great because now we're into we're into theater, which is the thing that I'm trying to get us towards here. Mm -hmm. Let's just press enter and let's just type in scene one. Um, let's see, yeah, yeah, and and then let's just go ahead and type if it's a. I mean, I don't know how much intervention I'm allowed to do here. As much as uh, you want, this is your thing. But I would say let's say lights up on and then keep going.
Yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just let's just keep jamming. Rank this up to like 250 or something. Give us a little bit to chew on. She writes furiously across. Ah, oh, yeah, great. Okay, great. I'm into all this. When she suddenly knows this person sitting nearby, regarding their strings with baleful eyes, the double immediately stops reading aloud so as not to disturb what appears to be private time for deep thought before plunging into abstract and contemplation. Perhaps neither will ever happen again. Okay. For something you know, our default setting tells us be quiet. See, now we're <laughs> there's just so much like op-ed type writing that it that it is pulling from here, I think. You could um, explain like more of what the, you could like give a little synopsis of what you want it to be or like send it in a direction at the beginning. I think, well, actually here, why I was, uh, so it's, uh, and, uh, I mean, we can, I think we can leave all this and and then let's just take, but let's, I think let's go, let's just inter, let's let's just make it into dialogue. So let's just take an asks and then let's do president. So future paper, actually let's just take it. So, so sorry. Yeah, yeah let's take it from- Copy and paste this into the Google doc. And if you want to make those edits. Okay, cool, yeah. Might be a little more intuitive then. Yeah, let me switch screens here. Okay, so so the rest of that in there as well. Do you think it reads italics? I don't. Like, do you think it knows? Let me uh, see about that. Uh, if you're going to do stage directions, you could do uh, asterisks. I know it recognizes that. Or like in parentheses, it'll pick, it'll pick up on whatever pattern you do. I don't know that it recognizes italics because it uses bolding as part of like it differentiating prompt and generation. Okay, let's try that. Uh, uh, after one sec, across kind of sheets of paper. Let me put, yeah, put in a line bef before president too. Yeah. And yeah, there we go. Turn this back down to 64. Where do you want the temperature set for this? Ah, point, let's try point 0.8. Point 0.8. Uh -huh. Let's just keep going. Uh huh. Let's just yeah. Let's keep let's keep jamming here. Okay, now I want to find out what this next part is. <laughs> White leather pants and an orange leather vest. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I really enjoy all of this. Uh... <laughs> uh... 
I just let's just keep going. Let's keep going. You want to boot up the response time? Give so somebody. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We could do. Up. Yeah. Let's see where it goes. Okay. Yeah, not as sensical. Uh yeah, I think let's uh let's actually delete uh delete back to I can't stop turning the pages in it. And let's, uh, who are other, who are other characters according to the Dramatist Personae? Um, yeah, let's just, let's write um, the secretary's assistant enters. And then the secretary's assistant in all caps. Okay. Okay, the, all right, all right, all right. The secretary is out of a serious experience. He assumes now required by her presence in the press. He see it back to him and gives a damn. Okay, well, let's find out what that is. Gives a damned, if I know, shrug, okay, in her direction. So it's, it's, it's holding the script for play called Romeo and Juliet, not any real book you might find. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I, you know, let's, let's, now let's add the, let's say the, the two reporters enter. The same room? Y yeah. Uh, and then just do reporter number one. Double just keeps on going so much. Do I look like your sister or something? I don't mind people like you in the city anyway. You're not even wearing a uniform. It just seems to be the White House. People say Air Force One later all the time. At least that's what Nixon said when he was president. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll keep all that. And then let's just type in reporter number two and see if we can get it to have the reporter ever say anything. <laughs> no, ignoring the reporters. Secretary, where are those two bastards? Okay, yeah, the white is part of that rod administration. Uh, yeah, let's just take like let's get let's just take it from secretary. Where are those two bastards? Uh, and delete everything after that. Okay. Um. Let's see, what are their, let's see. Scroll up for a second so I can see the, yeah, great. Um, uh, let's just type in lights shift. And uh, lights shift, time passes. Yeah, I think maybe two sentences. And like light shift period, yep. time passes period, yeah. Uh, and yeah, let's just see what happens after that. Um, uh, 
Okay, let's delete after happen. Um, let's, and let's just try to get, let's keep going, but let's do light shift time passes one more time. <laughs> so it might be picking up on the pattern that only the double is speaking. <laughs> um, let's just type it actually. So let's just delete all the wait. Uh, let's delete from the secretary's assistant to actually let, let's, let's delete from lights shift. So we'll delete all that over to, uh, but we'll keep starting at just then. And yeah, we'll delete that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, and we can delete lights shift also. Uh, and sort of put an, a, an, a line break before just then. Yep. And let's just see what happens here. Uh, she. <laughs> it's like fill in the blanks. Yeah, keep going. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's, I mean, should we give it some, I wonder if it would be helpful. It's not that I want to write my own text, but I'm just wondering if it would be helpful to no, like certainly put there. in some, some text under those things so that it is like there's dialogue. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you can steer it however you want to steer it. Let's just add like, Hello, under the act to be as minimal as possible here. Oh yeah, here, okay, I could do that. Shoot. For all of them, or? Ugh. Sorry, a whole bunch of things have gone wrong here with my Zoom, so one sec. No worries. Okay. I think I'm... If you need to go out, come back in, whatever works. Sorry, give me one. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Let's. Uh, I'm going to leave the Zoom and I'm yep, going yep, to no jump worries. back in one sec. Um, so in the interest of saving some of these tokens, uh, I'm going to leave some of this on the Google Doc and just do like the most recent development and like yeah. leave the character sheets. Yeah, yeah, totally. Still at point eight. I yeah. I mean, whatever. You, so closer to one is less likely things will happen, right? Yeah, it'll choose like least predict or like. I think let's leave it. At, we'll leave it at point eight for sure. <laughs> Just 
totally ignored the lyric prompt. <laughs> Uh, let's just let's keep going for a little bit. See what happens. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, all right, all right. Let's definitely keep going. It's beginning to be uh, someone else is also here. Someone who doesn't mind being in the situation where tells his lies to you. Hello, this is us. We are the truth tellers. Yeah, great, great. We've we got we're on we're rolling now. I think this is good. Let's keep going. Uh, we'll see if we can get. <laughs> okay yeah i'm enjoying this uh is uh we like both try our way out of an attic night before they can finish in one for all eternity yeah let's just keep going let's see what else she has to say or sing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. This is still there. We go. Okay. All right, okay. More? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm into this. I'm into this. Okay, so I visit my friends and ask them what should be done with those men, the ones I thought be. Kinds of toys, okay. Where our bodies even come from? We're supposed some day, some man says he won't want anything inside. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. The blood. I don't even know what's happening here. Yeah, it went down a weird path. Yeah, I can't tell. It's like, I can't tell if it's gone down like a feminist path or a men's rights path. Like it feels <laughs> like, you know, I'm not sure what the, <laughs> this last part here, but let's, let's, let's keep going. Let's and see the like happens. 60s presidential backdrop is a whole interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should remember that the president is still in the room here. Okay. All right, wide-eyed, okay, great. Okay, he knows exactly where his soul is located in relation to every other part of him, including the lining of his own coat pockets. 
Do I look like someone who would sympathize with anyone except herself? Yes, that's me. A mirror reflection without any feelings all about anything but her own glistening cheeks. That's great. No, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. This is this is an intense conflict. What I like about this is that I feel like there's a conflict. And yeah, I feel yeah. like we've gotten, you know what I mean? Like it feels dramatic. Totally. Was, gonna... we, took a took a while to like get that kind of conversation to start happening, but I feel like that is is happening now. I'm gonna save save all of it, but then take out the reporter stuff. It's just in the interest of saving tokens. Know what I mean. But I gave up today. Maybe tomorrow would never come. Who could is tomorrow that some kind of past with a similar speaking to and also a flu? My body's a little screwed. Don't cry to my plan. Oh, it's hard to bear. Okay, great. So let's do lights out, see, and do, let's start scene two say like lights or blackout. I just like blackout, blackout. And then I think all one word. I think, yeah, blackout all one word. And then scene two lights up. Okay, I, that's good. Yeah. Um, and then let's just type, you know, uh, Ernestine as a character name, maybe in all caps. Let's see if that. And then, yeah, maybe in parentheses. Yeah, no, let's just do this. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. With great passion. Mm. Okay, okay. I think let's let's go on to the next line and write the the double. And then I wonder about taking the temperature up to like point eight five. Yeah. It didn't go. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, and let's just, let's take out the but and let's put in the actress as a character name here. Interesting. <laughs> they do a lot of things to and around themselves, but I feel like that's part of the, uh, came over to surgery, okay. Let's just keep going. 
Let's keep going. Let's let this one run out. See if it. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Can't believe it. You're here too. Now everyone who's had something terrible done with their bodies will help me get out of this place where there is no love allowed because of things like that. We're having we're going to be able to live outside ourselves when they're okay. All right. Let's keep going. Well, I really like this prison slash hospital called New York City. I think that's great. <laughs> uh, whenever anyone would come out and choose on their own bodies, they could set them free and send open air where everything's allowed with any reason or logic at all, which has not been around. Yeah, I could just keep keep going with this, I think. And God fell asleep on the job. Yeah, that's that's good. So we assume that. Uh huh. Some kind of greedy. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, let's just take out. Let's cut it for. Let's go to everything I really believe in and cut everything after that. Yeah, and just period. And then let's just type in the telephone rings. Wow, I'm on fire typing right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna save this and take out a little bit again, just for. All right. Tokens. Take it from the blackout. Telephone rings. Yeah, let's just do period and then the telephone rings again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I mean, right again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, all right. Stay dead on purpose. We don't mean no harm, that's for sure. We only do what they want on their bias. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Let's go ahead and kill. Kill yourself first, because maybe after I'm done with you. Oh, okay. Since they're not really in line with the, the, having some ideas, there's always just so much AI related stuff in here. Um, since they're not really alive in the same way, having some ideas about why things happen uh, until I put it into every, it's too late for any kind of life. Everything's destroyed for a person who doesn't believe in what anyone else thinks anyway. They exit the secretary yelling from the double's office. All right, yeah, let's keep going. I gotta find out what happens. 
was it what did they want everything's supposed to be ready by tomorrow when the double turns into something uh other than human okay what about all that the this one with their bodies so it's uh, happening in New York City, which is not telling. Isn't that right? The actual double coming back. Ah, oh, they're back. Okay. So you're giving feelings outside of life, but there must be some other way to release uh, that. Uh, how how must we see how impossible some morning boarding will become? All right, let's take out our private, and then let's just um, let's write. Everyone notices the pistol hanging on the wall. <laughs> And then let's just keep going. Uh, let's cut after no one really believes anything like that will ever happen to them. And let's write, the pistol falls to the floor. And then let's keep going. Okay, <laughs> good, I like that. Act two, scene one, lights up on the president and the two were, okay, the secretary, Mr. President, if you, if you know, I have some very important questions to you, just, even though it's, it's true that your words have meant something different than we also say, they mean from out of nowhere about everything in New York City, you have completely different than anything which has ever happened here before, because, all right, let's keep going. reason why certain things have already happened because they want us all killed off for not saying anything back when there's still some reasons left inside our heads or something like that. It's always like, uh, okay, no one's uh, either. Uh, I guess let's just keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna I might save this again. What are we shooting for? We're shooting for like a 10 minute play here. <laughs> so like you've got a little bit more. Yeah, so we're, we're nearing, we're nearing the end, I think, right? Uh, if, if we're not already well over it. Um, but I think it's good to have two acts <laughs> in a very <laughs> short play. I'm into that. Um, L. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's just keep going. Hmm. Yeah, keep going. I'm really into the last night of Broadway musicals. <laughs> I'm the secretary's assistant. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like 
I would I would be okay ending this play. I think after it's Ernestine Douglas Wilson, I'm the secretary's assistant. That I think that's a be. that feels like a button. She goes away from the acting life, back to job, some sort of <laughs> something in yeah, there. Yeah, supposed to be the last night of Broadway musicals. Thanks very much so far. And for everyone's yes, and we'll all have something different than we've ever heard before. Oh, I'm sorry, my name isn't the actress. It's Ernestine Douglas Wilson. I'm the secretary's assistant. <laughs> you know, lights out. You know, end of end of play. Let's type type end of play and see what happens after. Just out of. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta see this act. Okay. I mean. Yeah, Seymour Hirsch, Council on Foreign Relations, Harold Pinter's wife. What is happening? I also like that Barbara Bush and George W. Bush are the president, yeah. even though they're yeah. it's yeah. the sixties. Yeah. And... No, it's good. Let's just let, maybe we can just finish out this list. Yeah, yeah, and then we could be done. <laughs> yes. The double who are been discussed with the secretary's feminist leanings. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's just, I have to submit. Let's get to see what else happens. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I would, I would say if you, I mean, we could cut all, I mean, this is, we could be done. <laughs> That's my feeling. We could be done. We could cut it after the double. We could go the double where men disguised as women, cut the part after that. That could be the little, the little coda. Right on. Um, so let's paste this all in here. I guess we already got the acting scene too far. And there we go. All right. <laughs> well, this will be fun. I'm excited to see what this turns into. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be fun. I would like to, I mean, not right now, but I would be interested to take like, maybe maybe you've done stuff like this, to take like the first page of Waiting for Godot and then put the whole page and then see where it takes the play. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a, there's a link I can send you. There's a guy that has like a whole list of like trying to fit, uh, is like Indiana Jones trying to get a letter for like tenure recommendation or something like that, or like it picking up right, on things right. like that, or like, Harry Potter and the style of. So there's yeah, yeah. a lot of different ways you can you can go about making stuff. Right, like right, right, right. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for doing that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Let uh, me know what happens with that. I'm excited. Yeah, it might be a minute before things start rolling in, but it will happen yeah, yeah, eventually. Of <laughs> cool. Well, well, have a good awesome. semester, man. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>